Nine out of 10 people will tell you that they don't like chocolate chip cookies. One of them is lying. We're gonna start with three quarter cup of sugar and one vanilla bean. And I'm going to incorporate them into the sugar. That's important because we don't want any clumps of vanilla bean in our cookie dough. I'm gonna drop in a half a pound of cold ass butter and our sugar into the mixer here. Brown sugar is less processed than white sugar. If you don't pack it down, you're losing tablespoons of sugar. And sugar is what makes it so good. About one cup packed. Now that all of the butter and the sugar has been completely incorporated and whisked together and nice and creamed, we're gonna add a tablespoon of rum. We're adding rum to this recipe because it's gonna give it some moisture, which is exactly what we're looking for in a nice gooey chocolate chip cookie. One whole egg, one egg yolk. We want the fat from the egg yolks and the structure from the egg whites. Remember people, fat is flavor. I have two and a third cup of bread flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a fat pinch of salt. We're using bread flour because it has a high percentage of protein, which means more gluten, which means fluffier cookie. I'm gonna use a combination of three different chocolates. Extreme dark chocolate, one that is somewhere in the middle, and I'm using Hershey's. I wanna make sure that these are balls, not just a scoop with a flat edge, and it's going to form this gigantic, just fluffy cookie. I'm gonna salt these before we put them in the oven. That salt's gonna wake up your taste buds, and it's going to allow for that chocolate chip cookie to change your friggin' life. We're gonna bake these at 385 degrees for about 15 minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the perfect chocolate chip cookie.